what is up guys this is Theo back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest lineage OS which is the 17th November 2019 build for this device and I have flashed it with the orange fox recovery of course and I had to clean flash because I was on the 16th November build which had like some problems with it so we all had to clean flash but if you are on an older build from the 16th November not on the 16th November but older you can definitely like flash this ROM with Orange Fox recovery and you don't need to like wipe your system and data. So you can directly like wipe cache and Dalvik and flash this ROM as far as I know. And as you can see the version here it shows 17th November 2019 lineage OS 17 and it is for Rafael or Redmi K20 Pro. And here the security patch is latest of November 5th 2019 and the vendor security patch you can see from here then the build date again and the build number the stock kernel here is perf kernel let me go back quickly and i'm not sure if this like system updater actually works but this updater is there so if you are willing to use it you can i think and in the gestures we have the system navigation gesture of the like android 10 gesture simply it is working flawlessly no issues whatsoever let me go back and for the customizations you have to go to this like status bar option we have the quick pull down option you i have chosen it to be right side so you can also choose it to be left or you can like directly off it and there is quick setting column and row numbers i have set it to five and this is how it looks you can add a bunch of quick toggles from here too as you can see there is ambient display hotspot etc options if you are like into those now let me go into the status bar again and system icons we have the headset bluetooth etc icons over here but do note that there is no vault icon here let me go to the clock position and stuff there is the center option and as you can see right now my clock is in the center of the status bar and looks cool you can change the position to like right or left here too and we have the show seconds and am pm style option and then if you scroll down we have the battery status style but let me talk about this battery status style well this is simply not working i have tried to set it to circle text everything it does not quite work yet the battery percentage i have enabled from the battery settings and it is working fine it shows the battery percentage next to the icon now to the bottom we have the brightness control here so that you can directly like swipe on the status bar and control your screen brightness this is a really amazing feature I really use it on a daily basis so I like it and there is invert layout and stuff if you are using on screen buttons this might help you and there is power menu option but let me tell you that there is no advanced reboot option here but for advanced reboot as usual we have to enable developer options here and in the developer options you will find the advanced reboot and let me show you it is there as you can see I have enabled it from the developer settings and you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot from here. Now there is long press for torch this works fine and there is also volume button controls let me go back quickly and let's go to the sound settings and show you in the advanced settings we also have this like dirac you can turn it on if you're not using the audio effects present on this rom and in the headset type we have the me earbuds and a lot of like options present over here me earphones basic and stuff and this audio dirac actually works we also have this hi-fi audio if you are like into those we also have the touch sounds touch vibration etc disabling option there is also screen locking sound like disabling option but there is no screenshot sound disabling option so even if your phone is in silent and you take a screenshot with the buttons of course the volume down and power button because there is no three finger screenshot gesture or stuff so those things are simply missing here but if you take a screenshot even if your phone is in silent it will make the sound so that's a bummer yeah in the display settings we have the night light mode and and you can simply turn it on just like this and turn it off so that your display becomes like white and in the adaptive brightness yes the auto brightness is there and it is working fine and there is the live display so that you can click control the whole screen rgb and there is the hue saturation intensity and contrast adjustment now let me go back into style accent colors are not much here so we only get one default accent color here and you can change the theme to light or dark from here or automatic then we have the whole ui dark theme present over here this makes really a good use of the amoled display so i really like it i was using the device like this i just like disabled it because of the video and in the color settings we have the natural boosted and adaptive color settings now let me go back in the rotation settings we have the 0 degree 90 and 180 and even 270 degree rotation options 
so you can choose bunch of screen savers from here so this option is there but i'm not quite sure that if it will actually work then there is double tap to wake and double tap to sleep as well like on the status bar and you can like double tap to wake on the screen and as you can see the fingerprint scanner is like really fast here no issues whatsoever but with the fingerprint scanner let me tell you if you are using the always on display of the ambient display this fingerprint scanner may not work 100% of the time it will work like just two out of five times so that is how it is if you are using the always on display but otherwise if you are double tapping on the screen to wake up the device then touching your fingerprint scanner it is really fine it works almost 100% of the time if you do this and don't use the always on display so yeah always on display has a bug with the fingerprint scanner i think and we can disable the wake up on plug from here now let me show you the stock launcher here this is the stock launcher let me go into the settings and show you which launcher is it so this is a trebuchet launcher and you get very minimal customizations here as you can see you don't even get the swipe down anywhere to get to the notification panel so that's a bummer and to the left of course we get the google now cards there is no double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen the widgets and stuff do support here so no issues with that but i think they should use a really like good launcher with some double tap to sleep and stuff in lineage OS because this is like a really great rom i would say so that's what i feel here about the launcher now let me quickly go into the battery settings here is how it looks like you can enable battery percentage and talking about the battery life well this is really amazing you can see the screenshots from here and you can definitely get i think about eight plus hours of screen on time with this rom no issues whatsoever that i could find with the battery life here in this rom it also supports fast charging of course now let's talk about some more things well i'll recommend you guys clean flashing this rom yes but like while you are flashing just flash the rom file the bit gapps file then flash the fcrypt disabler if you are decrypted if you don't flash that like you are gonna get encrypted so if you're fine with encryption and entering password every time you go back to your twrp recovery that is fine for you now let's talk about the cameras well the stock camera here is a snapdragon camera the older one so i'm not quite using it i have also flashed this anx camera version 158 and with this like everything is working fine here as you can see the all the lenses are working fine with this anx camera i do not see any issues even videos and stuff do work fine and slow motion and stuff 960 fps slow mo is there so no issues whatsoever with this nx camera now talking about gcam 7 well i would say i have tried this like new gcam if you have not seen this like your next gcam video here is a card for you on this corner and you can watch that video to know about this gcam more you have all the lens support you can choose it to be wide angle or stuff and you even can shoot night sight pictures with all the lenses so that is really good with this gcam and if you are using any older gcam yes they work fine here too this is the older gcam let me show you the settings no not here it says we are hiring and in the about section as you can see you can use this gcam if you want to the older one so yeah i don't have any complaints regarding gcam in this rom the older gcam was not working on the 16th november build of the line was 17 suddenly so i got scared and when i updated on the 17th november like when i clean flash the 17th november build i see the gcam like older and the newer as well is working fine so no issues whatsoever with that now let's talk about the drm info the drm info shows as level one here so not a problem you can definitely stream netflix and amazon prime videos in 1080p i guess and here the google pay is not working right out of the box but you can get it to work by like disabling phone and sms app permission from the google play services uh, i have did that and right now my google pay is working fine and here the widgets and stuff is working fine of course now let me open pubg and show you guys in which settings you can play pubg on this rom and here is the end to do score of this rom and by the way the volume panel and stuff looks like this you can expand this volume panel like this and control the media call ring and alarm volume from here so in terms of pubg graphics i would say we get the highest settings possible here we have the hdr and extreme settings so not a problem with the like pubg graphics settings here you can definitely play really smooth pubg and if you're a gamer i can definitely like recommend you guys flashing this rom on top of anything because it has great battery life too let me quickly show you the ram management and app of speeds here let's open chrome then this drm info app facebook 
ट्विटर प्ले स्टोर यूट्यूब एंड इवन बैकग्राउंड प्ले फॉर यूट्यूब इज वर्किंग फाइन यर आई हैव द यूट्यूब प्रीमियम अकाउंट एंड इट इज वर्किंग फाइन नाउ लेट्स ओपन स्पॉटिफाई एंड नाउ ओपन ऑल द एप्स फ्रॉम मेमोरी अगेन as you can see the app open up animations are pretty fine here no issues that i could find and i think the like memory management is pretty great even though this is a 6 gb ram variant the like memory management is really really good here and the animations you can see it is flawless no issues whatsoever the snapdragon 855 is handling the like apps pretty well here so i don't have any problems regarding the app open up speeds or the ram management or even the animations and with the front camera i would say the notification led and stuff is working fine here so that is not a problem at all here do i recommend you flashing this rom well i would say hey, yes because like the even the call recorder and stuff is there in the in call ui the default in call ui and volte calls are working fine although i have had some issues but with the mic and stuff the other party could not hear my voice but when i restarted it became fine like after a reboot everything was fine even the mic and stuff was working with uh, like calling and stuff the other party did not have problem anymore so i do recommend you guys flashing this rom right now if you want to try any android 10 stock android like based rom and with some little bit of customizations then definitely this is quite a recommendation from me at least so let me know in the comments what do you guys think i think this is a really fast experience fast and snappy and everything works just flawlessly here buttery smooth ui and like stock android and customizations what do you want more even though this is a unofficial rom i think this is a pretty great rom right now to try and by the way you need the miui 11 firmware if you are flashing this rom otherwise you cannot use this rom or you may have some problems so do flash the miui 11 firmware to the miui 11.0.1 android q based firmware you have to be on that to flash this rom do make sure you are on that so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from kerry and dex signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now